हेलो गाइस मोस्ट ऑफ़ वेलकम इन यू बी एस सी वेलफेयर चैनल आज बिनो दैस वी आर द ट्राइंग टू द कंप्लीट द पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एंड फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर एन इंडियन पॉलिटी वी विल ट्राई टू दिस वर्ल्ड टू द ऑल द एमसीक्यू व्हिच हैज बीन दैस बाय यू बी एस सी ऑल and uh, the might uh, let you inform us this the question is repeated by upsc because you know that if uh, examiner will try to the set up the question from indian government here yeah, as well as the public administration definitely these all are the famous the question and uh, they will most probably probably they will try to set up on this one ones yeah this the can be you know that uh, can be analytical but uh, uh, if you know the conception of the mcq then definitely it will be beneficial to elimination as well as uh, uh, go for accuracy so let's uh, start my dears we will not the you know the best you of the time here yeah. first the question is here yeah. see it has been already asked in 2000 sorry 1997 so a state funding of the election tax the place in the via as we know that indian government is also try to you know the, the reform and uh, for implementation of the state funding because in the election a lot of you know that uh, disbursement is going to be uh, so that uh, representative also they consider that uh, election is uh, just you know business that uh, if uh, they invested i mean uh, 5 crore rupees 5 crore rupees in the uh, elections they decide to you know that uh, income more than the Yes, ten crore rupees. Then they prefer to go for the social welfare, yeah, as well as the nation building. So my dear, uh, state uh, funding of the election definitely that will make the transparency in the our country also. So I hope that uh, within uh, two to five years it will be imposed by government. Now here the question is a uh, state funding of the election takes the place in. Not in the USA, as we know that, my dear. So it will be at. Not in the Britain also. So it will be wrong also. Finance and Italy. Not in Italy, of course. I am sure. So definitely Germany and Austria. We have the choice. And of course, there is a state funding. Now, second one. The concept of the public interest litigation originated in. No student be. Of course, the student without. As it has been originated from the United States of America, is. So for what for what PIL was especially? See PIL uh, PIL originated in United States of America. It six yes the application of the PIL that six to protect and the promote interest of the public at large. So C will be answer of here thirty number question C. The Indian parliamentary system differs the from the British parliamentary system in that India has. What is going to be a? The correct the answer is the here. See, here, as we know that from British parliamentary. See, uh, parliamentary is basically uh, all the provision has been taken from the British parliamentary. Of course, the Indian parliamentary is. Uh, um, Eighty-five uh, percent is, you know, that uh, source of the British parliamentary. But one thing is that uh, legislature, of course, that has been the taken definitely from the British parliamentary system. The collective responsibility, of course, that is also this the provision has been also taken from the uh, British parliamentary and both real and uh, nominal as okay. That is also taken from the British parliamentary. So that we have the only, of course, judicial system as we you know system of the judicial that has been taken from. as we know usa parliamentary my dear so we can say that the system of the judicial is the feature of india and usa parliamentary system not from british parliamentary here the question is the difference from british parliamentary so try to read the carefully the question definitely you will be able to it has been asked in 1998 now 40 number c what will be answer here d will be your answer my dear so this yes the parliamentary can make any law for whole or any part 
Yes, India for implementing international treaty, of course, without consent of any state. So, there should it be doubt. Why it is so? D will be correct answer. 40 number. Because of its, its sole prerogative of a parliamentary under Article 253 of the Indian Constitution clearly mentioned as Yes, the parliamentary recognize the power to make any law for whole or any part of the country. Yes, yeah, for India, yes, to implement international treaty. Definitely, yeah, for implementing of the international treaty. Should we will be here? 50 number C, the state which has the largest of the seats reserved for, yes, reserved for. ST in the Lok Sabha, of course, there should it be doubt, that is MP. In which, yes, uh, Gujarat, uh, you know that uh, uh, UP as well as uh, I mean uh, Bihar, if you're talking about the how the seats of ST located on uh, especially uh, I mean the Lok Sabha, yes, on the basis of the population of uh, especially and the percentage of uh, yes, SC seats in there. So definitely we can say that Madhya Pradesh is the state where largest number of the seats reserved for scheduled tribe in the Lok Sabha. Definitely there shouldn't be doubt any. Sixty number here see. Consider the following the funds is of course which hand is the, which one is the having is facially high the power of that which one which is the kind of the corruption the mind here the sixty number so it will be option here that is going to be C definitely why it is so because why it will be so C because as we know four number Chief Justice of India is having the supreme power definitely second one as we know that that is a three yes union cabinet minister of course and the third one Chief Election Commission because of you know it's in the elected the bias especially of the president so definitely and then cabinet secretary also my dear so C will be there shouldn't be doubt now 70 number uh, yes in what we does the Indian parliamentary exercise the control over the administration how there are student without a special the my dear the 70 number of questions this is going to be a way to show because through the parliamentary system of course the whole Indian uh, of course the whole Indian administration is not bank that but through only the parliamentary and because for example i am telling that so you know that uh, we have the three pillar of uh, democracy in that democracy that is the judiciary legislative and educative and when we are talking about uh, uh, for example the judiciary you know that a uh, high court is uh, giving to other uh, punishment to the any people if uh, uh, the uh, you know that uh, uh, I mean the victim uh, who especially they recognize that as I am the innocent in that condition they will appeal in the high court and the high court if giving the same judgment they will appeal in the supreme court and they appeal yes if the supreme court is uh, giving the same judgment in that, that condition they will approach to the president definitely my dear president is also giving the same decision then they can appeal to the parliamentary of course show the final of course and we can see in parliamentary exercise the control over the whole Indian system Indian administration so there shouldn't be doubt because the parliamentary as we know that a will be here why is it because through the parliamentary committee because the parliamentary committee as we know that yes are the form to dispose of the large volume of the work in time but yes we details security yes the appointment term of the office as well as the function are etc the regul yes regulated by the provision under the article of the 100 yes 18 so as we know that and uh, these of the second kind of the standing committee and ad hoc committee is also so but the one thing here that uh, we will the choose here uh, i am there the various kind of the committee now the parliamentary but here we will choose the parliamentary committee through a now because difference the committee you know that's recognize the difference systems in administration area now say 80 number in which of the following the area does the state government yes not have the control over its local bodies 80 number so 
on what yes citizen grievances yes on a citizen uh, citizen grievances your citizen complaints as we know that the state government you know that i mean doesn't have the control over yes it's a local body so definitely it will be getting number the question why it is shows because the state government doesn't have the control over it as we know that local body in the matter of the citizen grievances yeah complain yeah charges of course and this can be 90 number c question to the following the statement regarding the political parties in india the matter see the representation here see uh here options the representation of the people act is 1951 provide for the registration of the political parties of course there still in our the country uh, uh, when the political party is going to be uh, you know that's going for the registration definitely they are coming under the representation of the people act 1951 so absolutely correct and two the registration of the political party is the carried out by the election commission definitely this is a designation of the election commission and as we know the national level the political party is one which is recognized in four or more state of course this is a criteria you cannot announce a special until unless uh, if it's not in a more than yes four or four state so at that condition of course you cannot announce a yeah yes a speak out and that is a national party of course it's one lay one yes a state party so 1 2 3 is a correct here so let's firstly no need to attempt to this firstly i uh, am going to the question so 1 2 3 is a here so definitely four will be correct here also so my dear now next see the consider the following this statement with reference to the india as we know the chief election commission and other election commission yes and other election commissions sorry election commissioner enjoy equal power but receive unequal salaries unequal salaries see uh, chief election commission and other election commissioner enjoy equal power but receive unequal salary not the possible my dear of course this is going to be wrong absolutely so if we eliminate of uh, a then if we eliminate as we know a then a gone and uh, sorry if we eliminate the one then a gone and c gone all right now that we have the choice of 50 50 so definitely you have to approach my idea here because the elimination method is also you know that's a you know upsc the examiner is going to set up the question definitely you have to do the predict and uh, on the basis of your own experience whatever you have got uh, as in that uh, you have to do the guess uh, guess and uh, by elimination method whatever the strategy you will follow and go for a good essay so definitely because you, you you will have no awareness you know that uh, more than 50 percent is the question of uh, upsc in a, uh, in and the prelims yeah uh, means means there is of course writing so definitely you will write a something uh, uh, point that will be valid uh, on any questions definitely so here see uh, i'm the uh, i'm the saying the 20 number that Uh, a will be eliminated c will be eliminated here now uh, now uh, two number read c two number no need to read because two is absolutely correct because we have the choice you know b and d so here two is absolutely now so we have to read the three and the four is going to be wrong here right see third the chief election commissioner shall not be removed from his office except in like a manner on a like a ground as a judge of the supreme court definitely might here until unless actually he doesn't miss behavior the misuse of the the power definitely you want to be eliminated so uh, uh, i mean it's absolutely correct but let's see for the term of the office of the election commission is 5 years from yes the date he assume his office or till the day he attend the age of 62 years where yeah whichever is earlier that can be the concern 
see the one thing is my dear the term often that is a six year of the election commission so here is given the term is a five uh, term is a five year so absolutely it's a going to be the wrong material and uh, 65 minimum uh, you know that uh, uh, I'm till the I'm 65 years the chief election commission can yes be on it, the post so definitely four is absolutely incorrect because it is easy to eliminate so definitely P will be correct here once again I repeat of this the question my dear it's a BVI so definitely see the chief election commission and other election commission enjoy equal power all right and the salary also but the term of the office of the election commissioner is a six year remind you term of the election commission is a six year and 65 years yes is now 20 number the purpose of the is inclusion of directive is inclusion of directive principle of the state policy in India and in constitution is to establish which one is going to be a 21 21 will be here the option that is a social and economy democracy why it shows the because that when the purpose of uh, direct principle of this is uh, direct principle of the state policy is to establish the social and economy see what the application just remind you that social and yes economy democracy political democracy is established by the fundamental right so definitely what is the purpose of direct principle of the state policy to establish social economy democracy uh, as we know that political democracy is established by our the fundamental right so that can be here definitely D here will be answer of the 21 now see 22 which one of the following the article of the directive principle of the state policy deals with promotion uh, as in that promotion of international trade and security international peace and security which one article 22 is going to be a a that is a yes 51 article is a thus yes comes under directive principle of the state policy thus will come under the four part of indian constitution my dear that is clearly saying of course that is Yes, directive principle of the state policy deal with the promotion of international peace and security. So here, A will be answer here after that. Now, further see, in the case of elections to the Lok Sabha, the amount of the security deposit for general category candidate and SCST category candidate yes respectively is respectively is as we know that my dear we will the choose here that is a c that is a thousand for general and yes for sc and st five thousand of course and uh, latest reforms and that i don't have the, uh, don't have the information but approximately this has been according to the representative act of that one of course so here 1950 uh, where i was the day 1951 of course this article see here i according to it's uh, the mansion does of course uh, i intend to uh, 10000 for general and uh, 5000 for i mean uh, sast so here of course uh, 24 number questions uh, uh, see i was the owner of the 20 number questions here the, we have the choose of that uh, definitely but we can say that a c is going to be appropriate now the 24 number question which is the following a statement is the correct and this has been asked in the 2003 my dears so c which one is going to be the correct here the 24 24 is going to be a C. Why? Because of, as we know that, there is no constitution bar for nominated member to be appointed as a union minister, of course. Because what is the question saying? Yes, question which one of the following is going to be a correct only. So the only the Rajya Sabha, not in the Lok Sabha, can have nominated member. No, that cannot be, of course. So uh, there is a constitutional provision for maintain the two member belonging to a anglo community 
to the Rajeshava. No. So that is absolutely wrong. As we know, uh, C is going to Y because there is no constitutional bar for the nominated member to be appointed as union minister. Of course, the uh, prime minister, you know that, elect anyone. So, uh, it's the power of, no, uh, of course, uh, the prime minister in discretion to nominate yet the elector of. So, a nominated member can vote in a, the president and the vice the president. No, how could we? They can vote for only one vice the president nominated member not a full president because the president is going to nominate of the nominated member so definitely he will vote in the favor of the president elections so often there's the president so the my dear this cannot be here yeah. so this is going to be wrong so what will be your answer c will be here uh, the further more explanation in the detail of course the 24 that's i cancel that as we know 24 in the Rajya Sabha, 12 member are nominated by the president all right from person who have yes a special knowledge in art science literature social survey yes in the lok sabha two member are nominated by a president so remind you your that's in a raj sabha 12 member lok sabha in a two member from anglo community of course so yes article 300 yes article 331 it has been the clearly mentioned so nominated member can vote only the vice the president elections not as officially president elections so of course this is completed now see 25 number as per indian protocol who among the following rank the highest in order in the precedence yes precedence which one is going to highest can be deputy prime minister, can be former president, governor of the state within his stand. And the Lok Sabha speaker show there should be no doubt the governor because you know that yes, uh, order the president is the president. See, uh, because if you're talking order of the yes, precedence, then the president is you know that's a consisting high power, then the vice the president, then the prime minister, then yes governor of the estate because who is the chairman of the estate yes governor so the within their respective the state the former yes uh, former president deputy prime minister cgi and the lok sabha speaker so here the people the choose which one is going to be consistent the high power so definitely we will choose here Yes, governor of the state within his state. Why to show? Because the state governor, then the former president, then deputy prime minister, then chief justice of India or Lok Sabha speaker. So, remind you of that, my dear. So, here, which one will be? Uh, C. Now, this is all about in this video tutorial. I will proceed from 26 to yes, 35, yeah, 36 in the next video tutorial of part 3 in a public administration as well as the Indian government. Thank you guys. Have a great time. If really this video is benefiting to you, then please subscribe my channel and like and give the comment box. Yes, give the comment in the comment box to grow off and to motivate to me to match the video more and the more that will build you definitely i hope that will build you yes confident uh, for attempting more and more questions of the yes indian public indian government as well as the public administration thank you guys